Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY home decor. So for this one, I'm going to start with a piece of polymer clay. I'm using white. It doesn't really matter what color you're using because we're going to be painting this anyways. But we're going to be making it uh, flat. For that, I'm going to be using my clay condition machine. You don't have to use this one, but I use it because I have it and I just like how flat and even this makes my clay. The setting I'm using is the biggest one, I think. It's the setting number one. Thickness is pretty much up to you, but this is the thickness that I went for. Then I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to draw a um, triangle, like simulating a candy corn. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut in that shape. I'm going to make the edges smooth and all that stuff so I can move on to the next step, which is making the part that is going to be uh, the base. Uh, for that, I'm going to be taking another piece of clay and I'm going to just roll it until I have something like this, like a really thin uh, snake. And then I'm going to be taking this, uh, my triangle back, and I'm going to just make it kind of um, curvy. Basically, I want to make this uh, kind of like a plate sort of shape, and this is how I'm doing it. For that, I'm going to be taking this small um, leftover piece of clay and that is going to be helping me with the shape. I'm going to be putting my piece of clay on the bottom part and then on the top the clay that I'm working with for about 15 minutes so it kind of like uh, takes the shape of that and then I'm going to be using my TLS. Once you bake polymer clay it hardens and uh, the TLS thing acts like a glue so it's pretty cool. I'm just going to be adding all around the edges and then once I'm done, I'm just going to be placing my like snake on top of that. Then I'm going to arrange the whole thing before I bake it. Once it's baked and cooled, I'm going to be painting the whole thing, which is the fun part. First, I'm going to be taking a brush and some white acrylic paint, and I'm going to first add one third of uh, the whole thing, like candy corns are. Once that was painted and dry, I decided to paint the back part black. Grab my acrylic paint, my brush, and I just covered the whole thing in black, even the edges, like everything. Once it was dry and set, I'm going to go back to the top part and I'm going to paint the whole thing white. So this is why the top part has like more um, white paint than the rest. Once that's dry again, I'm going to be taking my yellow acrylic paint and I'm going to be painting the bottom part like one of the other thirds of this figure. The reason I paint this white to begin with is because the colors that I'm going to be using on the top are going to be popping a lot more if you use a white base. So once that's done and painted, I'm going to go and finish this part, which is with the orange one. And I'm going to be giving all three few coats until it's opaque enough. I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to just dip it in some black acrylic paint and I'm just going to go all the way around my candy corn like so from the edges and I'm just going to paint kind of like the edge and going a bit more on the top as you can see and I'm doing this with a q-tip instead of like with a brush because of the shape of the q-tip and it's just going to paint like the line but yeah this is pretty much all what I'm going to be doing as you can see the edges kind of like from the top as well uh, are black you can use a sharpie as well if you want to like add the edge on the top but sometimes I'm just too shaky and that this uh, method is better for me so finally once I've done that I'm just going to go outside and I'm going to be securing the whole thing adding some gloss now this is a gloss that I get at Home Depot if you want to go for a matte version of it go ahead and use it so this is going to make it shiny and it's going to make the sign last longer and it's going to make the whole thing come together and look a bit better I'm just going to let it dry for 24 hours and then I'm just ready to use it for my rings like um, the things that I use often and yeah I just want to share this idea it's pretty easy to make honestly super cute I think and it's a good way to have like your room festive as well and it's a way to have like something functional in a festive kind of way it's perfect for Halloween I love Halloween let me know if you love it too let me know if you like this one giving this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you later and take care bye guys